former President Trump is back in court for his defamation trial involving writer E. Jean Carroll. Trump was already found liable for sexually assaulting Carroll in the 90s, then defaming her in 2022. Now she's taking the stand to make the case that he also defamed her in 2019 and should pay additional damages. Let's bring in investigative reporter Olivia Rubin outside court in Manhattan for more. Olivia, Carroll's testifying now. So what's the latest from inside court? Diane Carroll is on the stand right now and has been for about 45 minutes and she really came in swinging. I want to read to you one of the first things out of her mouth that she said after saying her name was that Donald Trump assaulted me and lied about it and continues to lie and I'm here to get my reputation back and I just cannot sort of state enough the fact that Donald Trump is in the room at the defense table while Carroll is testifying that he assaulted her her, and he is very clearly not happy with the testimony that he is hearing. He is sitting at the table. He is shaking his head. He is scoffing. He is laughing. He is speaking with his attorneys. He is writing notes. He is hanging on essentially every single word. And remember, he can't say anything in the position that he is in right now. He is not the one on the witness stand. So he just has to sort of sit there and listen to what is at times a brutal line of questioning of E. Jean Carroll talking about the assault against him. But it is also important to note, Diane, that the question of the assault is not on the table at this trial. It has already been ruled as fact that Donald Trump assaulted E. Jean Carroll. And that is something that the jury has been reminded of by the judge, again, while Donald Trump is in the room listening to all of this. Now, Trump's attorney also had a tense exchange with the judge today as things got started. What happened there? The same way yesterday started, Diane. Today, Trump's attorney Alina Haba again asked the judge to not have court tomorrow because Donald Trump will be in Florida to attend the funeral of his mother-in-law. And again, Donald Trump is not required to be here at this trial, but his attorney asked for a continuance so that he does not have to choose and do both. And it's a line of uh, an ask that the judge does not like to hear again. And yet again, Donald Trump's attorney and his uh, the judge on the case got into an argument right there in the courtroom room with at one point Trump's attorney saying don't speak to me like that I don't like the way you're speaking to me and I won't speak to you that way and the uh, judge essentially telling her to sit down so very tense between the two parties all right investigative reporter Olivia Rubin thank you hi everyone George Stephanopoulos here thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel if you'd like to get more videos show highlights and watch live event coverage click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts thanks for watching